here are just seven useful tips for you all to take away. Um, always uh, do the right exercises to strengthen the muscles. That will help to improve osteoarthritis and also prevent falls. Um, try to take a healthy diet so that you can actually um, have enough protein to build muscle so that you can prevent sarcopenia or muscle wasting. And also uh, have enough calcium and vitamin D in your diet because that's good for your muscles and bones. Uh, maintain the ideal body weight. So if you are overweight, it's good to lose at least 5 kg. Uh, gradually, usually the safe um, way to lose it is about 1 kg a month. Yeah. Um, and again, that is done through healthy diet and exercise. I think both have to come hand in hand. Yeah. And then, of course, encourage uh, proper footwear and use the, the relevant walking aid, knee guards, and so on if um, the physiotherapist have some advice for you. Then uh, always try to prevent falls. Um, and uh, that is actually quite uh, important as well for older people. And actually, there, there are some metabolic conditions like diabetes and other inflammatory uh, joint conditions, which actually has to be treated well. Because if you don't treat those conditions well, the osteoarthritis can worsen. And then finally, just a tip on how to have healthy longevity. I think some of you have heard me saying about the six E's. Um, why is this important? Now, you notice that Singaporeans are living longer. Um, maybe in 1990, we live up to 76 years old, which nine years are with disability. But although in 2017, we live up to 84 years on average, but more than 10.5 uh, years uh, with disability. In other words, we are becoming living longer, but more of our um, living years are uh, with some disability. And of course, if you look at this survey in 2017, the biggest cause of disability is musculoskeletal disorder. And I think osteoarthritis will be one of them. The other one can be sarcopenia, force and fracture. So I think um, Arthritis Foundation is very keen to see how we can prevent disability in the community. And we will be working with uh, many of our public uh, supporters and patients to see how we can serve them uh, better through disability prevention. And of course, we know that in today's context, people not only want to live long, but they want to live long where they can have activities of daily living for the rest of their life. They don't have to be dependent on anyone to, to live healthily and normally. They want to be safe, secure, and able to move around to visit their friends so that they are not socially isolated. They want to remain connected socially. And of course, where possible, they want to have some um, community um, sort of meaning and purpose in their work and in their service to community so that they can have that meaningful life. So in that regard, um, we can now try to see if we can actually square the mobility curve. In other words, can we try to make sure our young today live, uh, have a healthy diet and all the necessary things for them to live, to have a maximum sort of potential. And as they as we age, we, do the, we don't suffer much of the disability due to strokes and uh, heart attacks and other chronic disease uh, complication. And we just live um, to maybe 85 and then just die quickly. You know, rather than currently, uh, we don't we are not very healthy when you're young, and then we just have a lot of mobilities as we grow with different chronic diseases, and you have a, a long uh, part of your life with disability. So how can we achieve this? And my suggestion is uh, again, uh, continue to learn something new every day so that your brain will be active, uh, make friends uh, all the time, then have some meaning and purpose in what you're doing. Then as you are doing so, you can encourage others. Then of course, eating less unhealthy food and having a better body weight with exercise will be uh, ideal. So um, if you are interested, you can join our Tradis Foundation Tai Chi class or even uh, train yourself to be a Tai Chi instructor because this will be one of those ways where you're learning something new and then you can uh, conduct a class so you're socially connected with your students and then you can exercise with them and maybe after the exercise, you can go and eat together but you are so mindful of your eating as you're, because it's... Uh, you become eat slower and you can eat healthier, you know? And so this is one way to maybe have that um, six E's uh, live out in your life. Um, if you're interested, you can actually go to the website of uh, Arthritis Foundation now to look at the, um, look at this exercise. So if I just go do naf.org.sg and you can see that uh, we have some of our current uh, activities up there. If you go to the table, you can just go for exercise class click down and then uh, go for Tai Chi. And then you can see the Tai Chi lessons and you click on it. And all the lessons now are, are uploaded onto the website. Um, and you actually can learn on your own by watching these uh, lessons on your own. And actually osteoarthritis has been shown to be uh, better with uh, Tai Chi exercise. So do uh, consider learning Tai Chi if you want to have one exercise that can help um, to prevent osteoarthritis or help with the pain and 
stiffness of osteoarthritis. And of course, uh, the opportunity now is upon us because um, the whole of Singapore is embarking on the healthier SG um, concept or health plan approach. So we would like to then partner uh, not only the public and our patients, but also the government to see how we can uh, work together with the different healthcare cluster to ensure that we have less and less um, disability in the community uh, and have a healthier and healthier population. And this will be a multi-pronged approach. And I think I look forward to your feedback and comments on how we can do this uh, together with you all and with Arthritis Foundation. With that, I thank you very much for your kind attention.